Did everybody have a nice Christmas? Yeah? I didn't. I didn't eat turkey. I didn't eat geese. I gave them both up for the working class obese. Have you seen them? They hang out in stairwells and they smoke fags. And in the army they call them the Catterick Slags. I was staying in a town with a fucking awful smell, like the BNP and the EDL. My nephew's got a friend, name of Jim. They spat on his face because of the colour of his skin. Out the back of that pub, there's CCTV. You know, the old prying eye for those too blind to see. Well, two young lovers went there for pitch and woe and the fuckers on the pub made it a big screen show what can you do what can you say this is England in the present day with some vile peasant sickness that won't go away this is the place of those I love and they say nothing feels better and blood on blood but the things I saw there it made me feel awful queer so I took my feelings down to the weir now the river comes fast just around the bend and water over rocks I've always been my friend it was there behind the hedge in number 47 
<laughs> I was just a kid, but I was living close to heaven. The words come now, kind of like a toxic shock. And I think back there, to my sister, in her summer frock. It was just a moment, just a glimpse in time. Back with mommy and daddy and everything fine. But there's other things that you don't want to know. So forget about that for now and go on with the show and tell me. How the fuck did you make this happen? It's like some kid that you're always slapping. That stuff that goes on inside your mind, is it suffering of the human kind? Do you remember the days among daisies? The nights with the crazies? A time when the world was new and someone was waiting there for you? And that all over? Party ended? Your past life defriended? It's like you've been holding so long since you come out the nest to something buried deep in your chest and your weight and your measure they scorn timeless treasure and a feeling of lack brings you right back to this small nowhere town where the only road goes down This guy headed an Irish revolution Ulster Hall 76 formed a new constitution Rory had schemes they were musical dreams and he preached emancipation through a collective elation Ireland was a land, of this I'm certain, but in 1965, Rory raised the curtain. Were you there? Did you see his hair as he played Wild and Free on the national TV? The Jesuit brothers and assorted mothers, they all ran for covers, but lovers were found in Rory's sound. Chains were unbound. Were you there? Did you see as he played Wild and Free for you and for me? Now I've seen Bono, The Edge and Adam, you name them. I've had him, and one time with Van, Bobby, and Phil, and Christy Moore on a little yellow pill. But when Rory was in town, man, what a thrill. He lit a fuse with the path he chose when he played them blues, slaking our thirst with his old sunburst. Belfast was fucked, clean out of luck. The military war was the future, no one saw. And in the Maritime in 67, Rory was our captain, storming the gates of heaven. Were you there? Did you see his hair? And the gallons of sweat? Everyone got wet, I bet. He went far with his electric guitar, our nearest star, sweet Palomar. Gallagher was a sensation right across the planet. What he had, you can't fucking can it. Were you there? Did you see his hair as he played? Wild and free on the German TV. Rory, I saw you in 92 and you were carrying your load down the old Kings Road. You still liked the play, but life got in the way. You lived by the river. You had a plant transplanted liver. Your bow lost its quiver. You were a sailor. You were a soldier. You fought the good fight. Playing your songs, shining your light. Fuck rock and roll and that whole scene. Rory, it's clear, was a mystic king. He got us clean out of our gourd in a souped up Ford, riding the train on the western plane. The show band scene, it got tight at the waist, it didn't matter, Rory had taste. At the marquee and the Isle of Wight, John and Jimmy thought he was clean out of sight. Dylan came to the shrine in LA, he toasted Rory and then he went away. Did you wear ribbons in your hair? Did you see when he went on a spree? Then, one night, in the mirror, he saw a ghost, and in the morning, his blood felt like toast. One more night, alone, in the sack. No road out, uh, out there, no road back. But Rory headed an Irish revolution, Ulster Hall, 76. We all signed this constitution.
soldier's dream. I dreamed kind Jesus foul the big gun gears and caused a permanent stoppage in all bolts and buckled with a smile mousers and colts and rusted every bayonet with his tears. And there were no more bombs of ours or theirs, not even an old flintlock, not even a pikel. But God was vexed and gave all power to Michael. And when I woke, he'd seen to our repairs.